everybody it's taikina beauty this lighting is everything right now and i'm about to record with it but today i have a iherb haul i'm super excited to get into this iherb haul it's a online organic natural grocery store and i think it was just something i had to try out i've been seeing stuff from them for a while they have they carry brands that i like so that was a plus for me get myself situated so that was a plus for me for sure um and their prices were really good hmm i will post the prices in the uh, video i do not have my ipad with me to calculate the prices I expected to pay more i got about 10 11 things and i can't wait to show you guys starting off with the first thing i am wearing it on my face right now it is a finishing powder so it's like a translucent powder i wanted to get a green clean one because i do use the laura mercier one i have tried the hourglass one as well and i wanted to venture out because those aren't clean so i definitely tried the everyday minerals excuse my nails i need to do them i do my gel nails myself i'm so excited because i'm about to get more into the designs i might do videos on it i don't know who knows but um i think i paid about ten dollars for this so far i think i do like it i mean i have it on now and i have really dark circles i used to not be about the bake hype but man I'm about the bake hype. I have to bake before I leave, even if I do like a natural look like this. This is like my natural everyday look. I'm kind of changing it up now. But I do like this and I'm pretty excited about this. The ingredients are good. It has fruit extract in it, which is cool. Um, and it doesn't have, I believe, iodines that shouldn't, or zinc that should be in your powder. Yes. Some soap. <laughs> I did get some soap. I actually tried this one. This is, um, a, Aurora Mirror Avocador Acrovetic Soap with Neem. Neem oil is good. It's beneficial for the skin. I like oils that benefit your skin, so you'll just have nice supplement skin. Um, and this is for dry sensitive. I shouldn't have got this type because I am not generally overall dry. I think I have combination. I have some areas that are oily and some that are dry, so I know where to put this at. But I think I got it for the flavor because this is the Himalayan rose flavor. It does come in other flavors. I do want to, I'm saying flavors like it's a snack. They have other flavors like lavender. I do want to try that next. And I think that was for my type, which is combination skin. But yeah, I'm, I'm not against this. I did actually like it. I could smell it on me and it was a nice smell. Very natural, not chemically perfumed down. I did have one con. It does have coconut oil in it. I'm not crazy about coconut oil. I just think it sits on top of the skin and clogs the pores up. That's just my opinion. But I loved how it had holy basil. I love holy basil. Holy basil is like holy. It's just good for you. Um, I think it calms me down. I like drinking tool CT and I think applying this to the skin will be supplemental for the skin as well. So I really did like this. Next I got that I need to take were some antioxidants. Um, I paid a good price for this too, 75 tablets and they're like $3 and some change. Um, I got antioxidants because um, it has vitamin A, C, and E in it and zinc and copper and I think sometimes my diet it lacks this so I would like to be taking the right amount of antioxidants you need. Antioxidants are good for you, they're anti-aging, they're awesome, they're found in blueberries, colorful fruits and stuff like that. Sometimes it's really hard to get that, um, so I definitely did want to try this. I'm not sure if this brand is organic, but I did like it so far. I noticed on iHerb, their website, they do have some brands that aren't 100%, you know, organic or pure or like they have a vino there, things you find that have, you know, some toxic ingredients in it. Um, so that was one con I did see about iHerb, but they did have a lot of organic brands that had pure ingredients so that's why i couldn't complain about that it is different to pharmaca because pharmaca only has those clean products whereas um iherb has a mix of them so you do have to be mindful of that and you do have to do your little bit more research on iherb whereas pharmaca i knew these these brands that they were carrying were organic and safe um so i'm gonna take this now i just take one a day do I see a difference um, in my skin? Uh, yeah, I actually do. And I've only been taking it for three days. I definitely do. 
I feel like it's like more glowy and youthful. Um, that was the reason why I did that. Um, just for my bo overall body too as well. Next thing I got was apple cider vinegar body wash. Revitalize. I needed some new body wash. The one I'm using right now is the Honest brand. Honest brand is by Jessica Alba. I adore her. Her a brand is very clean and I appreciate that. So I had the body wash and it was like five in one. You can do so much. You can wash your hair with it, wash your face with it. It was just like multi-purposeful and I like uh, soaps like that, like Dr. Bronner's. I love Dr. Bronner's. You can do so much with that. I, that was like one of my staples for my body wash. I would get the lavender one. I would buy um, the non-scented and the mint one just for other things too as well like for shampoo um but i did stick with the lavender but i wanted to try something different i did read the reviews on this this is by Gram the grandpa soap um i like the ingredients in it a lot um it's very natural to what i see and they use a lot of essential oils someone said it didn't have a good smell and i disagree uh, so that was my one concern when i was getting this in the mail it smells so good it smells like an apple and i think it's not like artificial it smells like they actually put an apple in this bottle it's really really good um i think i would try more fragrances they have because they had more than one so i'm really excited about this brand a lot it does claim to have no sulfates parabens phthalates aids, gluten silicones it's so hard to find uh products that don't have silicone in it silicone is kind of like coconut oil where it just sits on the top of your skin hair nails wherever you're putting it at and it's just like not giving you purpose and it's clogging up the breathing on your skin hair and nails and it's just you know depleting the purpose of what you're supposed to be doing which is living i'm living for this sun right now and i'm living for this uh light everyday makeup look i might give you guys a tutorial on it yes so i think that's really good and it has no artificial fragrance but it has a scent which is awesome it has no petroleums in it or colorants Oh, it smells so good. I would recommend this. Got was the Afri Care Shea Butter Curl Activator Cream. I was pretty skeptic about this. I thought this was going to be very chemically, but it's not. I didn't really do my research on it. I just liked the packaging. <laughs> gotta stop doing that sometimes packaging isn't everything it's not but it's paraben free sulfate free and no mineral oil it's so hard to find black hair care products with no mineral oil in it mineral oil is just not good for the skin the scalp or the hair it just serves no purpose again i feel like coconut oil just sits on top of the skin hair skin or nails face and it's silicone free so it claims to activate curls add shine and volume and prevents frizz I haven't tried this yet because I decided to be extra and just wear my wig um, but I can't wait to get into this because I want to see if it's going to claim to do that and I'll probably come back. It says it's made with shea butter, mango butter, and no harsh chemicals. I love shea butter in my hair, skin, and nails. Multi-purposeful use. I love things that multi-purposeful use and I think that's awesome. And it says it's used daily on curls, wavy, or coily hair. I consider myself to have coily hair and curls it smells so good again i thought it was gonna smell like chemicals i'm wrong i should have never did that this smells like vanilla it's like a nice scent it's not heavy i cannot wait to use this it has aloe vera in it i actually want to try to play around more with using aloe vera in my hair i have been using it on my skin for some time but now i want to try it in my hair where y'all at where y'all at i just don't feel like cutting the aloe vera and just doing it just a lot for me just for now can't wait to get into this i think this is gonna be really good next i got a rose hip seed oil bar soap by life flow natural living it's supposed to be gentle to replenish and hydrate i don't know why i got bar soaps that were for dry skin i again have combination skin i think i have oily skin on my back due to my hair and then i just think i'm oily on my forehead due to my hair <laughs> i like rose hip seed oil a lot applying this to my face i think that's going to be too oily i think this is just going to be a body bar and i'll just get these in my areas that are dry you know like your legs or you know arms hands so i think this will be nice it has like a natural soap scent so i do like that Let's look at the ingredients. And I really was all for the ingredients. It has olive oil in it, which is nice. Okay, so they do have a colorant in it, which I don't necessarily like. 
but they do have Roy's oil in it which is nice and they have a drain room rose hip oil too as well hmm kind of on the fence about this I don't know if I will be purchasing this again but we'll see how this works out thing I got I am so familiar with this I love this brand it's they do hair care it's called Aubrey Ocur o organics I got the chia hair gel with vitamin b5 and quinoa quinoa I like this brand I have tried this hair gel before and they, and they had a spray and I fell in love with it um so I wanted to get me a hair gel for my curly hair but I wanted a natural one so I was like okay I can do with this that's when I was looking for the aloe vera um but it has uh, antioxidant tea blend to help with color treated hair um I like how it just explains to you what's in it and what it's purposes for so the organic chia seed oil nourishes moisturize and boosts shine i love chia seed oil i love chia seeds chia seeds are so good for you i eat them i put them in my hair and my skin it's just it's amazing it's a super fruit um and this is crafted since 1967 and it's pvp free silicone free perfect vegan gluten free paraben free fecula free and it's cruelty free which i really do care about i am all about being cruelty free let's not harm animals and let's just you know test in a humane way i forgot that this does have a scent Oh, it does. I'm not a fan, but it smells very natural. It smells like a tea. Oh, what's nice about this is it has vitamin C in it, horse tail for growing your hair, green tea, sage, rosemary, black tea, black tea, chia, and vitamin B5. It just has a lot of good ingredients. I have tried their other products before and I love this brand, so keep doing you. The thing I got was, I'm pretty excited about this. I like this brand. I'm like staring at a product that I use from them. Is Alafia. <laughs> this is the, the Coconut Reishi Facial Spray Mist with papaya in it. And this is an edge tamer. I wanted to get an organic or clean edge control. I thought that would be so hard. So kind of trying to transi transition going to natural or organic in hair care is very hard for curly hair, people of color, black people. It's definitely hard because those things aren't as accessible. Um, now they did have a curl brand before and it looked like it didn't do a well and it got off the shelf and until this day I still search like crazy for those products because those products worked on my curls beautifully and wonderfully pretty sad about it I'm happy they came out with the edge tamer so this is made with authentic shea butter I find it weird that there's no ingredients on this but it does have shea butter in it and I'm just curious as to how this is gonna work because I feel like there's something under it. Okay, it's just me tripping. No, I feel like there is. Yeah. Okay, so the ingredients are right here. Okay, cool. It has, uh, has coconut oil. Okay, it has bergamot, lavender. I love lavender oil. Okay, so this has good ingredients. It does have spearmint in here. I'm thinking this was for the smell and the fragrance. Yeah, but that's what it looks like here. Um, I hope it works. I actually want to try it now. Let's try it on the wig. Okay. Okay, I'm here for it. I'm excited to try this. I want to try this on my natural curly hair, so we'll definitely see. But okay, I, I see the vision and I like it. Next thing I got was a superfood sheet mask. I'm excited to try this out. This is an anti-aging artichoke mask by Freeman. It's for fresh face and it has vitamin B3 and antioxidants to help nourish and renew the skin. That's what it looks like here. I cannot wait to try this. I have something special I'm going to soon. You guys will see so stay tuned for that and i'm gonna be using this i always use face masks for special occasions like when i'm going around a lot of people or making an appearance so i always do that yeah i need to like stock up on some face mask i had some face masks i got from cvs they were just like my last minute alternative face mask and they like expired i'm not gonna use them i'm gonna throw them away and i'm just dreading it because i was actually gonna try them out but i do have two masks now i have the moschino a mask that I bought from Cyber Monday and I have this one. Um, I think I'm gonna do the Shmoshino mask around Valentine's Day and then this one for my special event. So I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see. I like 
this. I like the concept of it. I'm not crazy about the ingredients. It claims to have artichoke in it. Okay. But we will see. I think I paid $3 for this. I was all about it. I was like, yes, okay. And I got a toothbrush. I actually needed a new toothbrush. It was my time. I feel like you shouldn't have a toothbrush for a certain amount of time. It's like, I think a month or three months. But I needed a new toothbrush and I got this. Um, it's natural, a very natural toothbrush. It's by Fooch's Record. It came with a box, which I thought was really cute to store it in. Um, that's what I'm looking for now, but I'm letting this dry. But I think it's so cute. I was so torn around the color. I was gonna get pink, but somehow I ended up with blue. Okay, um, the bristles are really hard. So I got medium and dull. I think I'm a medium dull. I think I'm a young adult, but I think, I don't know, maybe medium, who knows? We don't know, we don't know her. We don't know her. Like the sun's like leaving away. So I'm trying to like stay along this ship we're gonna stay along that ship there we go so yes this brush is very hard and it's it just i feel like it's get that clean i cleaned it today and it looks pretty white so i'm pretty excited about this toothbrush i think i'm going to be trying more from this brand i feel like this gives a really deep cleaning it is a hard bristle brush but you're not gonna rip your teeth out it i just feel like it's giving that good cleaning i really do recommend this brush all of the things I got from Our Herb, I really like. I will be shopping with them again. This is not the end. And they gave me a really good coupon discount, which was really nice. So I thought that was cool. They have a sister store called Love Letter. I'm gonna try to look and dabble into that too, but I'm definitely gonna be buying more from them. They had so much on there. They had candles, grocery food. It was just, it looked really nice. So I'm really, happy and excited with my order and all the things i bought i do recommend you guys checking iherb how if you see anything here you know just take a look at it it's really nice this video is not sponsored i wish it was um because i really genuinely do like their stuff and i feel like if you do like a product or something you should definitely sponsor or advertise that thing like crazy because you live by it but um yeah, you guys probably most likely will be getting more iHerb hauls. I won't be shopping there anytime soon, but when I need to restock up on something or I need something in the house, I definitely will go to iHerb or Pharmaca. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next videos. I've been a little bit under radar trying to get ready for everything that's going on for this month in February. Happy February, happy Black History Month. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're gonna subscribe to my YouTube, you better hit that notification bell twice so you know the next time when I post a new video, new giveaways, or maybe even announcing you winning something on my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye, you guys. Later.